Hello and welcome back to Charlie's Diary guys this is Justy and today we are going to see the long ball tactics okay now before getting into that last week uh, we did two new positions which is your DML and your uh, WM L or MR okay uh, so what I want to tell you is you know with the defensive mid wingers and the outside mid wingers whatever formation I tried in that particular uh, video you know that was only to analyze the position okay it is not a formation which I recommend you playing in your divisional matches okay because that is only uh, to actually you know try out that that position and to analyze how they behave based on the position they have okay so today i have set a match with uh, morino as you can see and uh, i've got this versatile attacker also and uh, i don't know i just had one goal with this guy and this special ability icon just popped up in between that okay so uh, there is still uh, information required regarding that and once I get enough information I will definitely share with you guys how we are going to uh, see that okay so so today we are going to see long ball tactics and uh, this is actually a, a quick fix to many uh, what do you call many situations okay so the the formation that we are going to try here is uh, a one with uh, no midfield okay uh, my midfield i mean uh, the central line okay we have the first line of defense the second line of defense and that's it then we have attackers so what i'm trying here is uh, three three uh, three one okay so the idea is you know without having that midfield line there which means you your support for the attackers is coming from the uh, defensive line okay so that is the idea and uh, because we are playing jose moreno we know it is 451 and you can see that midfield area is vacant okay but the attacking marking is perfect only thing is our first line of defense should be very uh, precise in passing the long ball to the uh, to the attackers what we have and luckily my defenders are very good with passing okay so we will take a look at that and the variations you can have with this formations is you know you can have a 433 you can have a what do you call you can you can have a 4321 okay or you can have a, a 44 i mean a 3421 so all the variations you can try but the important point is you know you can uh, the midfield is vacant which means your attackers should get prior support from your second line of defense and the first line of defense okay so now uh, while playing long ball tactics uh, there are certain things which your team should have also your tactics should also be precise uh, one of them is your team mentality you can either play with hard defending defensive or even normal okay i've seen normal also works with this uh, but i am confident with uh, defensive and hard defending the next one is your focus passing which again is based on your formation strength either you could be strong in the middle or you could be um, strong through the wings so based on that you can set that and your passing style is obviously long because we are trying the long ball passing and the force counter attacks we are using on okay and uh, there is a reason for that uh, which i will explain to you in the match okay why we are using post counter attacks okay uh, which is correlated to other tactics here also so the first one what you have in defense is your high pressing and which is again related with uh, with uh, what you call the counter counter force counter attacks okay so we are going with high pressing and the tackling uh, depending upon your opponents you know quality you can set that and then your marking obviously is zonal okay so i am more comfortable with zonal you can always prefer man marking but because you are using um, long ball it is ideal that you prefer zonal marking because the players are positioned and uh, it is wise that way 
and then your offside is off okay so now with the formation uh, like we discussed we will be using a 3 3 3 1 okay without the central line of uh, midfielders which means you know you don't have uh, any players to actually support your attackers a balanced team actually has players who will support the attackers you can you know you can always uh, uh, strengthen your defense by adding eight players in your in your defensive half but the problem with that is you know you you will not have anybody to actually support your attackers uh, in order for in order to you know in order to score goals you need somebody to actually uh, make the plays for the attackers so that's where most people actually lack you the ideal way is you know have a 5-5 five five or a 6-4 six, 6 being on the defense and 4 being on the attack or the other way around 4 being on the defense and 6 being on the attack either way uh, when you choose those your mentality will have to be changed okay now you can check the lineup it is a uh, three defenders the no normal regular ones one defender one dmc and your regular dml dmr and your AML, AMR and your uh, ST. Okay, so we are playing against Jose Mourinho. Mm, similar, similar situations here. He is playing a 4-5-1 and I am playing a 3-3-3-1 with no midfield. Okay, so uh, without wasting much time, let's get into the match if it is time. Okay, yeah, you can check here. Uh, the, the marking for the for the for for his attacking wingers are proper because you have your your wing back and I mean you have your central wingers and your uh, what do you call it? the the DM okay with the tactics like I said earlier are defending long passing post counter attack uh, high pressing and offside off with zonal marking okay hmm. Yeah, everything looks fine right all right so let's get on with the match okay so uh, over 70 percent of my viewers have still not subscribed so kindly do subscribe everybody and uh, help me with that small little thing you know you can just do that by a click so do that uh, your clicks are valuable okay so see like i mentioned no in the long ball what you should really understand is the uh the this is the 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 actually the first and the second line of defense is having the uh ball now okay you see the volley now this volley is between your second line of defense and your attacker and the attacker is scoring here okay uh, so this kind of things uh, it's because he is a playmaker that is what i want to stress out here the second line of defense doesn't do this long ball unless he is a playmaker so because he is a playmaker uh, he is actually capable of creating plays like this even now okay now that this uh, these kinds of plays actually come from the uh, the support which the striker gets okay and in this case my second line of defense being your dml your dmc and your dmr they are actually playmakers so that is why uh, it it feels okay for me to even play the long ball okay if not if that is not the case if you don't have playmakers then your defenders are the one the first line of defense being the defenders your defenders they are the real ones who actually uh, passes the ball to the to the wingers or the striker okay so that is how the long ball happens and uh, i mentioned uh, like you know we have uh, i have used counter attacks here and i am going with hard defending also we have an injury here. i have to make a substitution now mm, yeah i'll put place in back here right okay so uh, i am using your my hard defending and um, and i am using i am going with counter attacks also now what you must understand is with counter attacks you lose possession right so that is there 
but along with long ball also in long ball tactics also you never kind of you know keep possession because if you keep possession you don't have any midfield to actually circulate the ball okay uh, so you don't need possession first of all and why high pressing that is the next question which i want to answer to you because uh, with counter attacks on you even if you get the possession you are deliberately giving away the ball okay so when you give away the ball if you are in high pressing you will automatically get that ball automatically get that ball in the sense your players will actually try to get that ball okay by putting uh, pressure again even if it is is getting a penalty okay uh, he's well saved so even if uh, even if your defenders what was i telling i completely lost track of that yeah so e- uh, your even your attackers will actually start pressing okay so on doing that you kind of get the ball back and you can uh, create a play okay so every time even though uh, you lose possession you get that back with that high pos- high pressing that is what i meant okay so like you have seen almost all the goals that came came so far one was a penalty leave that out of the picture the other goals what which came were by the drop balls okay and i mentioned about these drop balls in uh, in one of the tactic tactic series i believe okay when we discussed passing i mentioned it there also so these things you know with long ball you see a lot of drop balls okay and uh, that is one of the areas where you can uh, actually surprise your opponent suddenly you can you know in between match also you can actually uh, change your tactics to long ball and suddenly you can you know push a goal by surprising the opponent sorry okay so that is one area which uh, which is you know uh, which is really you can watch this play here okay the ball is this is actually going to be a goal i know it because you know the the play in which it starts is actually you can see a lot of long balls crossing here and there and now he will cross it to the to the striker and he will convert it and it is going to be a goal man <laughs> oh sh- <laughs> you know this is this is one area where my team has to you know uh it it should have been a goal and uh, in fact you know the cross was complete and the conversion happened but the, it went off target but anyway uh that is how that is exactly how a long long ball uh, tactic work okay you get a series of long balls and then uh, a, a conversion happens in between okay so you know last week i mentioned that we will be doing football positions part 2 or reloaded or whatever but uh, you know i am short of data for that i need a few more analytical data uh, he scored <laughs> yeah it's fine but uh, uh, so i need a little more data for that and uh, once i get them all you know i will do that okay and uh, next week i am going to do something orthodox okay it's not regular so we won the match okay and uh, yeah it's cool so next week you know i'm trying this overloading tactic okay now that is basically that is that is not uh, a tactic which you should try against uh, you know active managers you can use that against inactive managers say for instance like in the events or something like that okay so th- next week we are going to see that and uh, please do subscribe guys uh, i'm asking you again do subscribe because it is important to me and support this channel by that okay and it helps me a lot when you know people actually support me so that is the idea of it okay so that's it from this week guys this is justy signing off from jali's diary take care folks <laughs>